Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back. And first one, let's go to text layer and let's write here our text. Clization tool and go to window enable align and go to align click this icon and this icon for move the text to center go to window let's open animation comes anchor point mover and click this icon for move the anchor point down also we can do this with manually let's go to click this pen behind and we can move the anchor point down like this so for save time i use anchor point mover let's click for down Anchor point, clearization tool. And right now, let's select these stickers layers. Go to solo. Also, let's click this icon for move the anchor point center. Okay. So let's unsolo and hide these sticker layers. Close anchor point mover. So right now, select this hello. Let's duplicate layers for every single layers. Let's control D again for duplicates. Okay, let's change this name, text, color. This is original text and let's go to FX Presses, search FX Fill. Let's use Fill for this text color and change color red like this. And let's lock layer, then hide this text layers first. This is first letter, let's change name H, Clearization tool and move to left. Okay, select this another text, let's enable and double click, write edit here E, Clearization tool and move to left. Okay, and next letter, let's enable, double click, this is L, Clearization tool, move to right and let's duplicate this L and move to right. Okay, and last text layer, O, let's edit and write O, move to right. This all text layer, okay. And this time, let's select this original text and delete. Now, let's select this first text, press S and click this icon, let's change scale 0 and make scale keyframe. Go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down or other way, let me show, click this time icon and write plus 10 for go to 10 keyframes, click OK and change scale 110 and change this scale 80 go to 3 keyframes for go to frame by frame keyframes use page down in keyboard let's go to 3 keyframes 1 to 3 and change this scale 110 and this 80 go to 3 keyframes again 1 to 3 change this scale 105 and this 95 and go to next keyframes again 1 to 3 change 100 percent so there are more keyframes for bones animation and select keyframes make easy or click f9 this animation okay this is very fast select these last four keyframes hold alt and move to left let's say again okay funny Select all two frames, hold Alt, move right for two two frames. Nice, very good. So select this scale two frames. Let's copy with Control C and go to first second. Select these other letter layers and press S, open scale and Control V and click these icons for scale and let's see. Nice, very good. Close two frame settings. And right now, select these stickers, enable layers, and move to up. Okay, go to here. And first sticker, let's put here. That's good. And let's select these layers and go to first second. Press P and make new passing Q frame. Move to down and go to 10 Q frames and move to up and go to 10 keyframes again move to down so select keyframes make easy go to graph editor and list animation 
Okay, go to solo. Let's zoom in here and select this graph. Move to left and select these keyframes again. Move right for filing animation. Nice. Select first keyframes. Move to left a little bit. Select middle keyframe. Move right. Okay, back to keyframes and close these keyframes. So right now, let's select this layer H and press R. Make rotation two frame, chain rotation minus 25. Let's press U for C all active two frames and go to here, chain this 10. Let's see. Okay, go to next two frame, change minus 5. And next two frame, change 0. Select rotation two frames, make easies. Okay, so this rotation two frames for dynamic animations. Select rotation two frames, copy, and select this layer 4, dot first second, and control V for paste. Nice. Select this layer H or layer 2, control V. Nice. And this layer, let's press R and control V rotations. Okay, and last layer, oh, let's control V. Nice, very good. So in this time, select these layers, press S, and go to here, make scale two frame, go to first second, change scale zero. And make two frames easy. And close two frames. Let's go to first second and go to three two frames. One, two, three. Select layer two, move to right. And select layer 3, go to 3 two frames, 1 to 3, move to right, again go to 3 two frames, 1 to 3, move to right, and this, move to right. Nice. So in this time, let's select these text layers. Let's select all text layers, go to solo, select layer E, go to 3 two frames, 1 to 3, move to right. And L got three two frames, one to three, move right. And next L got three two frames, move right, and O. Nice, very good. And select text layers. Let's unsolo. And right now, I want to make perfect timing for these stickers. Let's select text layers, move right. Okay, let's move to level a bit. Nice. So, in this time, select layer 1 and go to here. And right now, let's go to edit and use split layer or control shift D and delete. Okay, select this layer 2 and let's see timing. Okay, and go to edit again, split layer, delete and layer 3. Let's see timing. And here, go to Edit, Split Layer, Delete, and Layer 4. And go to Edit, and Split Layer, Delete, and Layer 5. Let's see timing. Okay, right now, go to Edit, and Split Layer, Delete. Let's see. Okay, so, let's add some motion blurs for natural animations. Select these all layers, and click this icon for motion blur. And don't forget to enable here. Let's see. Nice. So right now, let's change colors. Select this H layer. And go to stroke. Let's change stroke 5 or 10. Okay, go to color. Let's use this yellow color. Nice, very good. So right now, let's add some elements for dynamic animations. Let's enable motion blur and go to project, open cartoon elements and select these elements moved inside our composition. Press S, chain scale 20. Go to solo, click this icon for black background 
and select these cartoon elements, move to right. First, select this one, and let's see. Okay, this is for electric animation. Let's unsolo, select this layer one, and let's timing. And in this time, let's move to here. Let's see. Nice, very good. What we can get cartoon flash animations, I use it in the video. Motion area is a right for that. We can have used After Effects templates, motion graphics, stock videos, music, sound effects and other assets on motion array. And choose the form that suits you from the filter section and create your videos with more than 1 million assets. Motion array helps me a lot. I have used many templates, stock videos and images from motion array in the explainer animation I have made for my clients. I will add the link below in the video, you will get a fifth of annual subscription. And thanks to Motion Array for sponsoring this video. So guys, we can use unlimited creative assets on Motion Array. For example, let me show video templates. You can use Adobe After Effects templates or Premiere Pro and other softwares. And presets, again After Effects and other softwares. And motion graphics, footage, music, sound effects, graphics, photos. And let's open After Effects templates. And we have huge filters. For example, let's open category and resolution 2K, 4K, and 5K, horizontal, vertical. This is for Instagram and TikTok videos. And versions, we can select here or After Effects versions. For free assets, click this checkbox. And right now, we can use all these free assets in our projects. So, do you want two videos for your project? Use footage. And we can use all footage here, again filter and sizes, resolutions. Again, we can select free assets. Okay, very nice. There are more free assets. So, select this cartoon element 2, move to here. And this is for E. Let's move to here and move to left. Nice, very good. And select this cartoon element 3. Move to here. And right now, let's move to the left. Move to right. Nice, very good. And select this cartoon element 4. Move to here. And this is last L move to here we can change color go to FX presets search FX fill and select fill let's use for video 4 and let's see timing go to eyedropper use red color or green nice very good and for smoke, select this layer 3. Let's use fill. And go to use this blue color. Let's move the left a little bit to up. Nice, very good. And finally, let's select this layer 5. Move to here. And move to left. And use fill and color yellow. Not right. Okay, very nice. Let's see full animation. Nice, I like it. Very dynamic and funny style animation. Enable motion blur. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck!